Hello, welcome to the Mark Janard Show, the cybersecurity show. Let's rank Linux desktop environments for 2024. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. So a Linux desktop environment, DE, is a collection of software components that provide a graphical user interface, GUI, for interacting with the operating system. This environment includes elements such as icons, windows, toolbars, wallpapers, and widgets, enabling users to manage files and applications visually, similar to other operating systems like Windows and Mac OS. Components of a desktop environment, right? There's, you know, the typical uh, window manager, uh, which manages the placement and appearance of windows. You have the file manager, which allows users to navigate and manage files and directories. Uh, the panel and taskbar and or taskbar displays running applications and system uh, notifications. The settings manager provides configuration options for personalizing the desktop experience. Integrated applications, many DEs, uh, come with a suite of applications that share a consistent look and feel. Uh, and when it comes to popular desktop environments, there are many, right? There, there is the Linux, right? Each kid, you know, there are different numerous desktop, uh, you know, environments for Linux that, you know, each of them cater to, you know, user needs and performances, right? Or preferences. So you have the genome, uh, known for its modern and polished interface, but it can be resource intensive. Uh, you have the KDE Plasma, and this is this is my rank, guys. You have the KDE Plasma, highly customizable and visually appealing, suitable for users who enjoy tweaking their environment. Uh, this, so this is best to least. XFCE, lightweight and efficient, making it ideal for older hardware. You have the LXDE, extremely lightweight, focusing on minimal resource usage. You have the Budgie, offers a modern aesthetic with modern uh, with moderate resource consumption. Flexibility and choice, right? One of the standout features of Linux is the flexibility it offers in choosing a desktop environment. Users can install different desktop environments on the same distribution or switch between them, allowing for a highly personalized experience. For example, Ubuntu defaults to Genome, but offers variants like Kubuntu KDE and uh, Xubuntu XFCE to cater to different user preferences. So in summary, a Linux desktop environment enhances the usability of the operating system by providing a graphical interface, making it accessible to users who prefer visual interaction over command line operations. So that's, that. that's, that's, that, you know, <laughs> For, for those for those who think I was playing in the back, let me say that again. Genome, right? Genome remains the most popular and widely used desktop environments. It's known for its clean aesthetics, right? And again, it has maybe the, the, the best user-friendly interface in the world for Linux, right? Uh, it's easy, okay? It's easy, guys. What, what else you want from me? KDE Plasma, right? Uh, it's highly regarded for its custom, uh, customized uh customizability but the reason why i don't have it number one is because it's feature rich it's a feature rich environment it's particularly popular amongst gamers and power users right not as easy as uh the last one i talked about kde plasma offers a good balance between modern features and traditional desktop now here here, here is here is some notable mentions cinnamon right cinnamon developed by linux mint provides a familiar and user-friendly interface especially for transitioning from windows it blends traditional elements with modern functionality now that's like a notable mention you know that 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 kind of squeezed itself in there so let's talk about a little bit about xf uh ce right it's known for being lightweight stable and efficient it's an excellent choice for older hardware uh you know people older users users who don't know none better just kidding <laughs> who prefer no frills functional environment, right? They don't they don't want the hoopla. Uh, bug, budgie, right? Uh, a modern desktop environment that offers an elegant user interface and efficient performance. Uh, it works well with both older and modern hardware. Please take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button and the like button. Here's another notable mention. We have Mate. Uh, which is, is a continuation of Genome 2, offering a traditional desktop layout that's simple, efficient, and lightweight. It's particularly suitable for older computers and older users. And older users. Uh, LXQT, uh, which is the successor to LXDE and is ideal for systems with limited resources. It maintains a lightweight and fast uh, environment while offering modern features. Uh, another notable mention is the Deepin DE, right? Deepin stands out 
With its visually stunning design focusing on simplicity and elegance, it offers a unique and attractive user experience. Another notable mention, we have the Enlightenment. Enlightenment offers a unique blend of efficiency and visual appeal. It's lightweight and customizable with a focus on modern device support. Does lightweight matter to you guys? Please let me know in the comment section below. We have Cosmic, uh, while still under development, Cosmic by System76 is gaining attention for its focus on efficient multitasking and modern design. It's built using Rust and promises a smooth, responsive experience with tiling, uh, okay? Window management. This ranking, uh, you know, it, it, it takes into account somewhat the factors such as popularity, user experience, performance, and recent developments in the Linux desktop environment landscape. It's worth noting that the best desktop environment can vary depending on individual needs, preferences, and hardware capabilities, okay? So we, we showed a lot of love. Let, let's show a little love to Mac OS. You know, are there any desktop environments specifically designed for Mac OS users? Unfortunately, no you Mac OS users. There are no desktop environments specifically designed for Mac OS users to replace the default Mac OS interface. You guys are on your own, you on your own, you on your own. <laughs> so Mac OS uses its own proprietary desktop environment that is tightly integrated with uh, the operating system. So here are some few options that you can consider to make it, you know, a customizable experience on Mac OS. You have the Windows management tools, applications like Rectangle, uh, and Magnet allow for better window organization and management on Mac OS. Addressing some of the window handling concerns, uh, you have customizing uh, customization apps, tools like uh, Hammer Spoon allow you to create custom shortcuts and automate certain tasks on Mac OS. You have third-party docs, applications like UBar can provide a more Windows-like taskbar experience on Mac OS. Virtual desktops, while not a full desktop environment replacement, Mac OS does have built-in virtual desktop functionality that can help with organization. So for a more drastic change, some users opt to run Linux on a virtual machine on their Mac, which allows them to use Linux desktop environments. We talked about it, the Genome, the KDE, or XFCE alongside Mac OS. However, this is not a replacement for the Mac OS interface itself. It's worth noting that many of the issues uh, such as window management and app switching behavior can be addressed through macOS settings and learning the system's built-in shortcuts and features, okay? What are the examples? You have the Command Plus tab that switches between applications, while Command Plus backtick switches between windows of the same application. You have the holding option while clicking the green maximize uh, button will expand a window to fill the screen without entering full screen mode. And then you have mission control, that's the F3 or swipe up to, you know, with three fingers on trackpad provides an overview of all open windows and spaces. That's what I have for you today. Please take a moment to hit that subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment to hit that subscribe button and the like button. I appreciate your viewership. Stay safe. See you on the next video.